Hi Capricorn, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your week ahead. This is for the first week of April. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'm going to do the Celtic Cross just for this, this uh, weekly, and then I'm going back to my regular spread. We're just going to see what comes up for you. Keep in mind this reading may or may not be for you. It may or may not be, okay? Keep that in mind. So let's just see what comes up for the first week of April for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Mm, back and forth, tug of war, huh? You, you may be not knowing what to let go of and what to hold on to. So you're definitely struggling, okay? You're struggling to probably let go and of something. You need to make some sort of decision and you need to stand by it, okay? This is in the, it's like you are trying to be logical. I feel like right now, um, you're probably holding on to your power, you know, you're probably, you're probably keeping quiet. You probably know that you have to make a decision and it's a, it's a difficult one. I think that you have to make a difficult decision. And I think right now you're going back and forth on the decision that you have to make. Whether you want to let go and, you know, let go of this tension and, and do something else or not. I think you're in the process of making a, a decision. Oh. Probably about a partnership, you know. Definitely about a partnership. About a union. And I think that, you know, you guys have been through some sort of struggle. You've been through some sort of... Uh, Whew, battle, perhaps, you know, you have, and, and I feel like, you know, wherever you've been, perhaps there's, there's no more companionship there, you know, and maybe you, you have an opportunity here, you have an opportunity for, for new love or some, somebody new, perhaps, this is a new, this is new love, but you have been through some sort of battle, you may be protecting yourself, you may be going back and forth with the previous relationship or the previous you know, partnership that is no more, you know, you're, anyway, whatever, whatever you have coming, you have a stable, solid opportunity coming towards you, and I feel like right now you're being tested, I think that your strength is being tested, um, you're probably taking your time, and you are needing to take your time, you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Could be dealing with anybody, but whatever, whatever, this is the future. The future is the Knight of Pentacles, which is a golden opportunity. It's like you have a golden opportunity waiting for you, but I think that you're trying to be practical, right? You're trying to be really, really, really practical. I think that you're being tested. Um, I think you may be making some plans right now. You be, may be trying to avoid upheaval in your life. <clears throat> Maybe you are scared to build a new foundation with somebody. There could be upheaval in your current foundation. I feel as though... We're going to go back around in a minute. I'm going to add some more cards to, the, to these. You've been through some sort of battle. You have somebody that may be, you know, flirting with you or crushing on you or wanting to offer you love and you're trying, you're thinking about it. You are thinking about it. I feel like um, presently or, or right now you, you may feel like you can't get into a relationship or you've just ended a relationship that was troublesome. Um, <laughs> You know, you deserve, you, de you deserve love, you deserve to be happy, you deserve reciprocation. Um, this is about bringing balance back to your life. I think right now you have to make some sort of heavy decision, and this involves uh, finalizing a chapter in your life. You know, I think that you have to make a final decision. I think that you're being tested right now. Um, with a new opportunity, and in order to, you know, accept this new opportunity, you may have to finalize something you know, a past partnership that you were wounded by. Um, definitely we have a wounded warrior mentality here. I feel as though right now um, 
You may feel like um, you just want to be free. Maybe you just want to be free. Um, you do have to make some sort of choice, though. I feel like you have to make some sort of choice as to whether you're going to move forward or you're going to stay where you're at. You want to stay where you're at or do you want to build a new foundation with someone else? I feel like you're trying to, you know, avoid, you're trying to avoid some sort of um, upheaval in your life. I'm not sure why. You're trying to avoid it, but it looks like there's a structure that needs to, that needs to come down. It, maybe you need to let your walk break it down the walls around you you know let your let somebody in that kind of thing um, I think that you do have somebody that is it is emotionally you know interested in you and you may not you may be afraid of it I don't know. let's get some more cards we're not going to clarify this one this tells me that right now you are in the process of making a decision and I think that you are struggling you're struggling you know in regards to taking back your power to doing the right thing being logical um, I think you have to you know finalize the situation for sure Well, Capricorn, you have a new beginning here, okay? You do. You have a new beginning. Okay, this is this is love, and you have to make a choice. Do you want this love or not? Do you? I mean, this is a passionate new start. This is a, a, a this is an this is a you know attraction. This is love. This is uh, exciting. This is an exciting new opportunity for love here that could really grow into true love. Okay, this could grow into true love. It's like a spark has been lit. The spark has been lit, right? It has. And now you have to decide. You have to decide. You have to make a choice, you know. Do you want to stay stuck or do you want to move forward? That Do you want to accept this offer of love? You know, I can see that there's an attraction. I think that you are attracted to it and you want it. But, but, you know, here we have trying to avoid, trying to avoid hurting anybody, trying to avoid getting hurt. I think that you're protecting yourself. I think that you are very conflicted in your mind. You know, I think that, you know, you may be pushing somebody away that wants to build a foundation with you. You know, you may not be putting in the effort that you should be putting in. And therefore, you could lose the opportunity. This is somebody who may feel like they're not ready for love or they don't have love to offer. Maybe you're feeling like you're not stable. Maybe you're feeling like you're not good enough. Maybe you feel like somebody's going to hurt you if you let your guard down, if you let your walls down. I feel as though, you know, you're holding on to something that has already ended okay you have it you're holding and it's getting old you know you need to be wise you need to be practical you need to open your heart you guys are holding on to something that has already ended and it's time for change it is it is time for change it's time for your new beginning it really is but you know you got to be confident you may have low self-esteem. You may you may not feel like you're strong enough, or you may not feel confident. You may not be focused enough. Maybe you're not focused on love right now. Somebody's offering you love, and maybe you're you're afraid of commitment. Maybe you're not ready for a commitment. Maybe you don't have faith. Maybe you need to have blind faith. You could be dealing with a Taurus, I or anybody. You have all the signs here. I feel like you guys are just. You're letting fear. You're letting fear get in the way of a new beginning. That's true. So right now, oh my goodness, the emperor reversed. This is your. You may not be wanting to relinquish control. You may not want to. Maybe you're angry. Maybe you're angry about the struggles that you have been through. Maybe you, you're. You know. Let's get another card. Oh, you're you're not feeling it. Maybe you're not feeling like you can love right now. It's like you are being offered love from somebody. You are, but you may be angry over the struggle that you've been holding on to. You're you're. This is angry. The emperor reversed. This is, you know, you may be afraid to lose control. 
I think that for some of you, you've lost your focus. You may have lost your ambition. You know, this is missing an opportunity in love. I mean, it is. Focusing on pain, focusing on hurt from the past. You know, you deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve love. This is getting what you deserve. You know, this is allowing somebody to give to you, allowing somebody to, you know, bring balance into your life, letting, allowing yourself to receive, you know, but you guys are stuck. You absolutely are stuck. And it's like you're clinging to control as well. These are both clinging to control. This is, this is bad luck. Yes, you've been through a run of bad luck, but you do deserve more. Everything, you know, this is the wheel of change. Change comes into your life because you deserve love. You deserve things, okay? So some of you are in a relationship or you were in a relationship where there wasn't love and you deserve love and the wheel of change has come in, you know, to probably get you to let go and take back control of your life and you just are, maybe you're not seeing it, that this was fated. This is, it's like you're holding on to something that wasn't meant to be and you have an opportunity for something better. Um, I think that you need to make a conscious change to break free from, you know, perhaps your anger or this struggle or to break free from the thought that you don't deserve love because you do deserve love. So I feel like right now you guys definitely need to make a conscious change to allow, you know, what is meant to be to be. I feel like you do have a love connection here that is absolutely meant to be and that is exactly what this is. <laughs> This is it's meant to be. You have a soulmate connection that is meant to be, but you have to let go of the old baggage of the past. That's what this is. It's like you're hindering um, this new love connection by holding on to not thinking that you're worthy and being angry and struggling and playing this back and forth game. When you do have a deep connection with somebody, you do, you absolutely do. Okay, and I think it's an unexpected attraction here. And now it's like all of a sudden you have to make this change. Do you want it or not? That's exactly what this is. So I feel like you are struggling to accept new love. And that's where we're at. <laughs> right now, I think, I mean, not right now, but presently. Presently, you know, you guys are focused on a relationship where there's, there's, there's no growth. There's no healing. I don't think you guys have healed from the past relationship yet. Could have been dealing with a Leo. Could be dealing with anybody. I feel like you are still getting over it. You haven't gotten over it yet. And you do have a new beginning waiting, but you have to close that chapter. I think right now you may be feeling a little bit lost and you knowing that you know you have this new beginning waiting for you, but you need to find the strength and the courage and the confidence to step right over that finish line. And I think that you haven't quite stepped over it yet. Um, you guys are stuck. You're stuck and you're sacrificing yourself needlessly and you sacrifice a lot of time, you know, in the past holding on to something that really took a lot of your energy, you know. Anyway, I feel as though, you know, you have love. You have love. You have love. You just have to see it. Don't turn your back on it. You, I mean, this is true love. This is. So I feel like, you know, this is, this is investment. This is re, this is plant your seeds someplace else, wherever, wherever you planted them before it's, it, there's no more growth there. You have an opportunity to invest in a new direction. This is somebody from your past. I feel as though you have an ability to choose somebody that you have known before. It could be a past life connection. This is somebody that you've known a long, long time ago. It could be, you know, 17 years ago. We got this one 17 years ago. Perhaps you have an opportunity to connect with somebody that you met that long ago. And, you know, there's an opportunity for growth, there's an opportunity for passion, there's an opportunity to go on this new adventure, this start this new life with somebody, but you have to, you have to nurture it, you have to invest in it and stop investing in the dead end. You do have an attraction here. You do. And I feel as though, you know, the difficult times that you have been in are over. 
they're over. This isn't. This is a new partner. This is a new um, beginning. A new passionate beginning. Taking a new approach. This is saying, just go for it. Just go for it. You know, don't cheat yourself of a new beginning, please. You know, this is you not knowing. You may not know. You may feel like you're cheating. You may feel, you know, you may feel like you're cheating. You may feel like you're deceiving by, you know, going after your desires. But, you know, this is the rods of love that have hit you. And I think they have hit you pretty hard. This is the rods of love. I think that you are, are mess having messages going back and forth between you and this new partner. And you may feel like, you know, maybe you feel like you're cheating or you feel like they're cheating. Or you, you just, there's something that you don't know or there's something that, you know, you're not seeing clearly. This is a, a potential for a passionate new start with somebody I think that you're communicating with right now. But you're reluctant to move on. You are reluctant to move on. And I feel as though you have a soulmate connection with somebody from your past that you probably knew up to 17 years ago that could lead to, well, let's do this. What could it lead to? It could lead to marriage. But you need to have faith, blind faith. And I feel like right now your guard is up. Your guard is absolutely up. I think you're trying to protect yourself. I feel like you are very, very conflicted. Um, but because this partner is well, is very attractive, I think that you are that you you and this person are very well suited for each other. Um, this person is probably younger than you. Um, I definitely feel like there's messages going back and forth. I think you're excited about the messages. I think that you have feelings for this person, but you are very, very conflicted about getting in a commitment and that you are trying to protect yourself because of the past relationship that failed. So I think that this week, Capricorn, um, your approach is take a risk. You deserve this is you deserve. Take a risk. Have faith. It's time to start over. That is the zero is starting over. Starting at zero. It's the, you're, this is what you are. This is the approach. This is the advice. It's time to start over. It's time to begin again. It's time to ha replace that fear with faith. Faith and step into the unknown. This is an opportunity to get what you deserve. Your, the advice is make a final decision. I mean, this is a final decision. Be honest with yourself. This is an opportunity to start a new journey. But you have to... The, the fool only takes what he can fit in that bag. That means he leaves the rest behind. You can't bring that baggage. And the Ten of Wands, wherever that is up here reversed, that is dropping the baggage as well. It's time. It's time to start over. It's time to start fresh. It's time to begin again. It's time for you to do what's right for you. It's time to open up your heart and stop blocking. Stop restricting yourself. You have to make a, a stressful decision. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. And start over. Stop blocking your new fresh start. You deserve happiness. You deserve to be loved. You deserve this soulmate connection. This is a this is this is this is a, this is a soulmate connection. You have soulmate connection all over in this reading. It's meant to be. That's what this card means. I think this person is not your usual type. They are nothing like the last one. And I think that you may be in shock. This is a card of love heals. There's an opportunity to heal your heart if you let this person in. The 
soulmate connection here. I mean, I can't. It's the truth. There's a new opportunity to really, really have a passionate new start that could lead to true love. The whole nine yards. This is somebody that you knew. This is somebody that you knew. Could be up to 17 years ago. 16, 17 years ago. Let's get one of these. We have all the signs here. It could be anybody. It could lead to marriage. It could. You know, starting a new contract. These are both contracts. This is a this is a part of the this is part of the script. You think about the contracts like this is already it's meant to be. This is a contract that is meant to be. Health. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. And that's what you're working on. That is what you're working on. I feel as though you have to make a choice. This is a card of choice this week. Do you want love? You, somebody has come into your life that is very well suited for you, and I think that you feel it. I think that you're excited about it, but you're blocking it. Let let them in. So that's what I got. I feel like you guys are going to make a choice this week. Probably to accept that offer. The Five of Cups reversed next to this. This is realizing that this is an opportunity, a golden opportunity, a solid opportunity. I do believe that you guys are going to make the choice to take this offer. That's what it looks like. Five of Cups reversed is realizing, yes, this is a valid offer of love. Five of Cups reversed. I think that you are realizing, or you will begin to realize, that this is, this is love. This is love. It is. It absolutely is. It is. But there's a partnership that has gone south, and you need to step over that finish line and stop holding on to it. Yeah, so that's what I got. Talk to you next time.